What in the world are you up to? Well, I am trying to do what the title says to do. <laughs> really? Yep. Well, would you go ahead and click that? Let's see what he's got here. Back, back up one. There we go. Yep, that's it. I read that and I'm doing it. Prepare the way for the Lord. Fill in the valleys and level off all the mountains. Make the crooked road straight and the rough places smooth. You're going to do all that? I'm going to do every bit of that. Rot my shovel. <laughs> you know, you can only dig so much with your paws before you get down to the nubbins and it gets, it gets raw and sore. Okay. All right. Well, here, let me take that shovel away from you here. That's a little dangerous. Uh, there you go, Brother Jeff. Thank you. Um, why in the world? You know, that's, it, it, it's kind of a metaphor. Really, a metaphor. Hmm. Huh. I bought a pot for once. What's a pot for? To cook in. <laughs> I don't know what a metaphor is, though. Well, <laughs> it's kind of an illustration kind of a thing. We hear really what God wants is for us to prepare our hearts. I don't have any mountains in my heart. Maybe you do. I'm clicking when I talk because my glasses keep hitting my hat. <laughs> You just flipped your glasses right off from there. There we go. Well, anyways, you know what he's really wanting us to do is to prepare for Jesus. So I have a question for you. Are you guys ready for Christmas? Yes. What does it mean to you when someone says, are you ready for Christmas? Mr. Uh, Travis, would you grab that microphone and, and uh, we're going to see if any of these kids have any ideas. If you have an idea what it means to get ready for Christmas, raise your hand up and We'll let you share. Anybody? <laughs> They're all bashful this morning. <laughs> oh, we got one. Oh, she's getting help, I think. Or is she, are, you, are you trying to pull her arm down? <laughs> I, I think he's holding her arm up. You got something? No. Nope, nothing? What does it mean to get... Okay, some adults help Jesus us out. Jesus' birthday. Okay, Jesus' birthday. All right. What do people mean when they ask you that question? Go, go ahead. It means that you got all the tree up, all the cards written, and all the presents wrapped, and all the food cooked. <laughs> Normally for me, that's Christmas Eve at 5.30. <laughs> I just want to know if you got my present wrapped. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to say that. You're talking through me here. You're like, well, shh, shh. All right, anybody else? Anybody else? What does it mean to you? I, I think Miss Karen pretty much covered it, didn't she? Yeah. Well, you know, do you know what an advent calendar is? I do. Good, good. You know, it's a calendar you just kind of mark off as you go through, as you count down the days till Christmas. Well, I got myself a new fancy watch, and I did some screenshots from it. And so, Mr. Gordon, if you'll show this, it's got a countdown calendar on it. Go ahead and go to the next one. That, that, there it's blown up so you can see. Here Today is Sunday, December the 5th, and the days until Christmas are 20. <laughs> You're excited about that? I am excited about that. I love Christmas. All right, let's go to the next one. It's got several different pictures that you can use. There's one with a choo-choo train on it and candy canes. The next one, and that one's got penguins skating around. I like that one a lot. And there's another one I can use. It's got polar bears. That one's fun. And then there's this one here. It's got snowmen. Oh, I love the snow. <laughs> okay, what else here? Go, go to the next one. And this one I use at nighttime especially because it's not quite as bright. And uh, it's got a deer there. You can't see it, but there's actually an owl up in the tree, too. All right, next one. There's another one I can use at nighttime. That's one of my favorites because it's got Holly on it, and our dog's name is Holly. You have another dog? I do have another dog. Okay, go ahead and click to the next one there. I, oh, I guess that was it. All right. Well, there's, there's lots of fun that you can have with an Advent calendar. And, you know, when, when we are supposed to get ready for Christmas... And Ray Lynn had it right. It's about Jesus' birthday. We're to ready our own hearts. We're to get our own hearts ready for Jesus. Not only the fact that he came and was born for us, but that he died and he's coming back again for us. Okay? And so we need to be ready for that on a daily basis.
Yes, indeed. I, I kind of like the glasses on top of your head there. Me too. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, they just fell back down. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Gordon, would you bless the children this morning, please? And then you will be dismissed to go back with Miss Melissa to uh, work on your memory verses. Okay. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you in this, this season, Lord, of your birth. We ask a special blessing upon these children. Lord, what a, what a glorious bunch of kids that we have. Lord, we ask that your blessings be just touching their hearts and sharing your, sharing your word about how they love Jesus Christ. Thank you for all that you do for them. Give them strength and courage throughout their days. In your precious name, amen. Amen.